Machine is a thing which reduces human effort and makes work easy to do. It also reduces labor it also increases the efficiency of the work. It also makes the work more accurate. This is the simple definition. And by book the definition of machine is a machine is a tool containing one or more parts that uses energy to perform an intended action. Machines are usually powered by chemical, thermal, or electrical means, and are often motorized. A simple machine is a device that simply transforms the direction or magnitude of a force, but a large number of more complex machines exist. Examples include vehicles, electronic systems, molecular machines, computers, television, and radio. What are the types of machine? As we've seen earlier, simple machines form the basis of mechanical physics. All complex machines are actually made of a number of simple machines working in tandem with each other. Simple machines help make our work easier. Given their importance in the world of physics, anyone interested in these STEM subjects must have a basic knowledge of what constitutes simple machines. There are basically six types of machine. The inclined plane. Used for raising a load by means of a smaller applied force. The lever. Involves a load, a fulcrum and an applied force. The pulley. In simplest form it changes the direction of a force acting along a cord or rope. The screw. The wedge. The wheel and axle machines are man-made or man-modified devices that perform work. Machines require input energy to produce output activity. Machines are broken into two basic categories, simple and complex. There are six simple machines. They are levers, wheel slash axle, poorly, inclined plane, wedge, and the screw. Simple machines do a single basic function. Complex machines use, combine, multiple simple machines to output work that cannot be done by simple machines. Complex machines are as simple as a bicycle, wheelbarrow, or lawn mover. Or they can be as complex as an automobile, airplane or a spacecraft. The Poe and the Secret of the Machines by Rudyard Kipling deals with the problem of modern technology and automation. In the beginning the reader gets informed about how machines are produced and what kind of treatment they need. Afterwards the machines explain how they can serve humanity. But machines are not only useful. They could also lead to big disasters, if they aren't used in the right way. The poem ends with the statement that machines, although capable of great deeds, are still nothing more than creations of the human brain. The poem is divided into eight stanzas, of which four consist of eight lines and the other four have four lines each. The structure of the poem is rather regular. The rhyme scheme follows the pattern of a barbab throughout the entire poem with no exceptions. The poem can be divided into three parts according to their content. In the first part, which consists of lines 1 to 20 for the evolution of machines and the privileges given to mankind thanks to them are described. In the first stanza several stylistic devices are used. A very distinguishing feature for the first stanza is the anaphora, which is used in the beginning of LL. 1, 2, 4, we woo. There are also plenty of enumerations, for instance, L5, some water, coal, and oil is all we ask. This stanza refers to the use of machines in different departments, such as industrial production, agriculture, and administration. Machines are personified 